in peace. You may know the story. The story, every year we hear the same story and yet, you know, the Bible tells us that Jesus was born in a manger. Before he was born in the manger, we had the wise men who came and they saw a star. Seeing the star, they followed that star. And they went to the land where they thought that Jesus was going to be born. And they went all the way to where a king was supposed to be born. They went to the palace. But King Herod said, no, there's no baby here. And he was trying to trick them and say, hey, go and um, find that little kid. And once you find that kid, come back and tell me so I can go and uh, worship that kid as well. And I can see the hands of God right here in that story because to me, what stopped King Herod to say, okay, I'm going to go with you right there? Or what stopped King Herod to say, okay, I'm going to send you to go and find that kid, but I'm going to have you go with some soldiers, some people. I'm going to have some, a, a, a troop going with you guys to go and see that baby. And when you see that baby, and uh, they will come back and tell me and I'm going to go and worship that kid as well. But it didn't happen like this because this was all by the hands of the living God. And yet the story unfolds that Jesus, they found him in a manger. Mary, the mother, you know the story, um, did not find a place in the, um, you know, in the hospital or the hotel if you call it. And they had to put Jesus in a manger. You know what a manger is, don't you? A manger is something that is a stable where animals come and they stay there, they eat, they sleep there, they do everything else that you may think and imagine that animals do right there. So the king of kings, the, 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 the master of the universe left the throne and came down and to take the form of a man but not a regular man he came as the savior but yet the savior took the place of a manger to be born and you know the story as well that the, 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 the angels went and spoke to the shepherds in the field and the shepherds in the field and rushed to the baby and saw the baby and worship God for that baby. Yet they were waiting for the Messiah, but I don't think the people who witnessed the birth of Christ really understood that this message was a message of hope, joy, and peace. Yes, they sang. Yes, they worshiped the Lord. But in the mind, the Messiah was supposed to come and do something right here and right there. So, Jesus being born is not just about a baby that is in the manger. It's not about uh, the, 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 uh, the, the shepherds who came and worshipped the baby. It's not about the wise men who find a star and watched to find the baby. It's not about that. It's about Mary, it's about Joseph, it's not about even that manger, the stable, it's not about that. It is about, the Bible tells us that Jesus coming in Matthew chapter 1 to save us from our sins. And John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, whatever you're going through right now, there's hope. There's hope because Christ came and he said, I came to bring hope to the world. Is my hope, is your hope. Do not despair, do not lose hope. Don't take it over because if Christ is in your corner, there is still hope. 
That message is not only a message of hope, it's a message of joy. Because you see, when you have hope in your heart, then you have joy because you have something to look forward to. You know what tomorrow is going to be. You know what the next day is going to be. You know what next week is going to be. Because you are hoping for the best. And because God has given you Jesus as the Savior of the world, now we can have joy. And that's why we sing joy to the world. The Lord has come. We sing because He had brought joy to me. He had brought joy to you. So the message of Christmas is not a message of hope only. It's not just a message of joy. It's also a message of peace. Peace in my heart. We have two kinds of peace. And the peace that we have means that in the midst of struggle, we still remain calm. In the midst of turmoil, in the midst of headaches, persecutions, troubles in our lives, we still remain calm. Why we remain calm? Because we know we have a Savior who can take care of us. It says in the Word that come to me all of you who are weary and heavy burden. I will give you rest. Because God can give us rest in Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. So you and I, we can come to him and he give us rest. And that rest in our heart give us peace. And he says in the Bible that I give you my peace. I do not give you like the world give it. But believe in me. So you see, Jesus is our peace. Jesus is our hope, is our joy. So today, our message, the message of Christmas is for you not to lose hope. The message of Christmas is for you to be joyful. And the message of Christmas is to have peace in your heart. But you will not have peace in your heart if Christ is not with you. If Christ is not in your life. The peace that surpasses all understanding of men and angels can only be shared to you when you have peace with your brothers and sisters. Do you have enemies? Do you have people that you are cannot stand? People that are really, even though they have done terrible things to you, but you still did not forgive them? You don't have peace. So today, the message of Christmas is for you to bring them peace. Peace with your brothers and sisters. Peace with your family. Peace with your friends and peace with God. And once you have that, you have hope, you have joy, and you have peace. But for you all listening to me today, the day of Christmas, the greatest message that I can give you is that give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, that hope I'm talking about, the joy I'm speaking of, and the peace that we just mentioned, is not for you if you don't have Christ in your life. Yes, you may have some time in your life that you are hopeful, some time that you have joy, some time that you find that you are peaceful, but it's apparent peace. It's not permanent. But when you have God through Christ in your life, you will have joy, you will have hope, and you will have peace. So if you haven't done that, I'm inviting you right now. Give your life to Christ. There's no greatest gift that we, one can give in this season of Christmas than to give your life to the Lord. So, to close up, only one thing that you have to remember. Christ, whenever, whatever you may decide about Christmas, but one fact is real, he was born. And he was born to bring us hope. He was born to bring us joy. And he was born to give us peace. Merry Christmas. God bless you and peace, joy, and hope to you and your family. God bless you.